Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. And for today's projects, we'll be using Penny Black's new creative die, Fresh Breeze, to do three different techniques and create three different ATCs. For each of these ATCs, I'll be using an Inchy Arts ATC mat board art square um, and for this first one the thickness of the art square works perfectly for this technique so I have my white ATC art square from Inchy Arts and I'm covering this with Eclipse masking paper which is like a giant sticky note is the best way I can describe that and I want to cover the entire ATC square with this masking tape and I'm just going to trim around the edges and this is mainly so as I'm working I can see where the exact end of the ATC is. I've seen this technique on the Inchy Arts blog and I've been dying to try it and I really did love the result. So now that that's covered I'm going to take this Penny Black Creative Dye Fresh Breeze and I'm going to lay it cutting side down onto the side of the ATC that has the Eclipse masking paper and I'm going to just lightly tape that on with some washi tape. Now I ran this through my die cutting machine and because of the thickness of the art square it does not cut all the way through but it will cut and emboss through that masking paper. So what I'm going to do next is pull up the masking paper and you can see it's been cut so I can pull up just the die cut image and you have to be kind of careful as you pull that up just to get that die cut section. Now the rest of the area, the background, will remain, the, the masking paper remains stuck to the ATC art square. And I'm just working here to pull those up. And now to do my coloring, I want to use get a watercolor effect. And I'm just showing you there, it did not cut all the way through. So for my coloring, I'm using Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors. And I'll list the exact colors used at the end of the video. And I'm just working on a large acrylic block. So I'm just putting down some yellow and some orange. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that art square and I'm just going to press it into the inks. And you get a really pretty watercolor effect. Super easy. And also because this Inchy Arts Art Square is a thick matte board, I can add lots and lots of color and wetness and it's not going to warp. So just another reason it's a great media, medium to work on. So now I wanted to just add a little bit more yellow, so I'm still just dripping some directly onto the piece. And then I also wanted to add a little bit more contrast, so I'm just grabbing that acrylic block again and adding some red. And I'm going to press the piece into that. And you can see that red then start to spread. And I am drawing between each step with my heat gun. So now here's the really fun part. I'm going to pull up the remaining masking paper. And you can see that you get this beautiful inlaid watercolor look. Now, some of that uh, watercolor seeped through, I see through my masking paper. Um, so if I was going to do this again, I might not put it on quite as heavy. But I just went ahead and used what was left on my acrylic block and splattered some on. Um, and I found I needed a little bit more water, so I just sprayed that down with some water. And then, um, or added some from my water cup there and splatter that onto the background. And I just love the way this technique turned out. Here's another look at that ATC. And all these ATCs are ready to go on a card. You could punch a hole and add them to a gift bag. It would be great for a Father's Day gift. Um, so this next one almost has the look of a sculpture. So now I've die cut Penny Black's Fresh Breeze and I'm using the remaining piece of paper as a stencil. And this is Fabric Castell Design Memory Craft with whipped spackle and I'm applying that over. This time I'm working on an ivory Inchy Arts ATC size art square. And if I found if I moved real slowly as I put on the whipped spackle that um, it was really easy and the piece of paper that I'm using as a stencil um, didn't move. And then I'm just going to carefully lift up and 
I'll get a little of the excess off the end with my tool. Now I dried that in between. You could let it sit, but I did find I love the way it kind of bubbles up when you heat it with the heat gun. Now I sprayed that with water and now I'm just dropping the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors directly onto the art square. And some of it is going on to the area where I applied the whip spackle and some of it isn't. I used a mixture of blue and green. And then I'm just taking my paper towel and rolling over the top. And this is what I felt really gave it that kind of sandstone look. And I just sprayed with water. You can keep going back and re-wetting and adding more color until you're happy with the result. So I'm just dripping on some more blue. I decided to add a little bit of yellow. And like I've done before, in between each of these steps, I am um, heating that. Here again, I'm patting with that paper towel to lighten it and pick up the excess, but it gives it that mottled effect. Now I'm just taking some white um, from the watercolors. This is actually somewhat opaque and I'm using a dry brush and I'm just lightly flicking that over the fern. I just wanted to draw attention to the texture of that. And by using a dry brush it's not causing the other colors in the background to blend. Now I got a little bit overzealous so I just went in with a baby wipe and just wiped some of that up. And then went back and added a little bit more. Just played around till I was happy with the look. And here's another look at that ATC once it was finished. Again, ready to go onto a card, keep it as is, put it on a tag or a gift. Now for this final ATC, I wanted to create a marbled background. And then I accented it with the die cut. So here I'm just adding some more of those Hydrus watercolors to my acrylic block. I only used one color and then I just dripped that white on there. And I'm just smearing the ATC right onto it. And look at that, it's already marbled. Now I'm going to dry this in between steps. And then I wanted to have a little bit more purple. So I just sprayed that with water to reactivate the ink. And then I'm just pressing that onto there. And also by spraying with water it kept it nice and transparent so that I didn't lose that great marbled effect in the background when I pressed it onto the additional ink. Now this is the die cut breezy. This time I'm using it actually as the die cut so just cut it from white cardstock. You could color this as well but I like the contrast of the white up against that dark background. So I just added some glue using my Zig glue pen and then I'm just trim the excess from the back. And then I like two layers just to give it some more dimension. So I just cut it again and glued that right on top of the other piece. And then I'll just turn that over to the back again and trim off the excess. And here's another look at that ATC and a look at the set of all three. Three techniques featuring Penny Black's Fresh Breeze Creative Dye and Inchi Arts Art Squares. For details and more information, visit the Penny Black website, www.pennyblackink.com. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.